Five to eight, morning to you. It is Anthony Nice it's waking up on a Sunday morning at the Hall as we celebrate the WR here on BBC Radio Norfolk. We've been Sue and Sheila and we've moved from the newbies room there. That will be uh, interesting to see how people go on. I can believe that was the new room to the veterans room. Now this has got loads of different celebrations. The whole thing is celebrations and little displays on each one and you've got flowers and uh, there's a Chinese New Year one and loads of different styles on this. So, you know, people really have used their imagination. We've just put in a theme and it's amazing the way they just take it in various. They've surprised us, they always do. And the standard always surprises us, it's amazing. Now, without picking out particular ones, so if we walk this way, this is a celebration of Diwali, which is lovely. We've got the sweets for Diwali. <laughs> we have beautiful merchant of candles, which I love, which can change colour. And the design is beautiful. Lotus flower in the middle, of course. And the flowers around are just incredible, aren't they? We give them eight categories to choose their crafts from. They choose five. Um, and then all the, the craft items are judged beforehand. We have two days set up in the Federation office. And then we set it all up on Friday, and the judges come in and do the cakes and the sweets and the flowers, and then everything's manic. And then the public come in on the Saturday and go, oh, this looks nice. But, um, but as Sheila said, they surprise us every year with what they do. They, and, and we shouldn't be surprised because we've got some wonderful WI members. And they're there and they know what to do, and it's brilliant. How did you come to join? I joined uh, 25 years ago, mainly because uh, the boss I was working for at the time said she was being knackered by her neighbour to go to the WI. Would I go with her? So off I went, thinking a little bit, because my husband's in the Royal Air Force, so we travelled around a lot. And we went, and I knew two or three people there, and I stayed, and she didn't. So that was it, so that's 25 years ago. It's changed so much, I bet, in, the, in those 25 years. Yeah, because if, when I first came back from Germany, and I went for WI, and they said, who's introduced you, dear? I said, I've just turned up. Well, we should be introduced. We, we should have you recommended. So, and that was in the 80s. Now it's open to everybody and it's become very diverse. We've got lots of younger people joining now. We have young 28, 30, you know, 30 year olds. And uh, it, it is, but we have to move with the times, but we haven't got to lose the old values. I was going to say, that, that's quite key, isn't it? Because what, one of the big pushes from WI over the past year is getting younger people involved and, and, and ensuring that the legacy still carries on. That's right, and the younger ones, they're wanting to learn how to do the knitting, the crochet, they wanted to learn all the crafts that they might remember as children, uh, and it's wonderful to see, and they're bringing new ideas all the time, and the, the things that our younger WIs do, some of the old ones think, wow, you know, that's brave, but uh, it envelops everybody now, and uh, it, it's absolutely fantastic. Sheila, how long have you been with WI now? Yes, probably about 15, 20, something like that, yes. And what made you decide to? Um, somebody, one of my friends, um, told me of a very interesting speaker. It was a subject I was interested in. So I just listened, so I did. And uh, the rest is history, really. <laughs> <laughs> then I got involved with the actual craft side of it, because I love crafts. And uh, yes, it's just taken over, really. It has provided people where you know we are sometimes losing communities and, and, and we are losing those neighbours. It really provides people with a connection to, to their local community, doesn't it? Yes, and it's surprising the number of people who say that if they've got illness or bereavement or anything, it's the WI friends who have supported them. They've been amazing support for them, and that's when it's um, really come to into its own. You know. Lovely to hear and lovely to know. Much more from uh, Balls of Virtual as we look around these the, the veterans, which are absolutely fantastic. Ruby celebrations, a Chinese New Year, uh, a wedding one as well, which is lovely. We'll also